We have been created for dominion. Genesis chapter 1 verses 26 and 27. Then God said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. One very important aspect of God creating man and woman is that of dominion. In fact, that is one of the first words God uses to describe this being that he creates. He says, let us create man in our own image and let them have dominion. So you and I, by the very fact of creation, by the way God created us, we were created to have dominion. Now, we were created in the image of God. The purpose of being created in the image of God is so that we could represent God on the earth. We represent Him by resembling Him. We also represent Him by carrying out His purposes, by doing what He wants us to do. So it's a representation of resemblance and it's a representation of continuance of authority with the exercise of His authority, His purposes on the earth. And the first component of us representing God on the earth, being created in His image, is that of dominion. Let them have dominion. I am putting man in charge. And as you read that passage in verses 26 and 27, it says, Let him have dominion over all the earth. The earth realm is a realm of man's dominion. You and I were created that way, to have dominion. Now, what does it mean to have dominion? It means to dominate. It means to have rule over. It means to have authority over. It means to bring in subjection to. Now, the wrong expression of dominion, a perverted expression of dominion, is the abuse of power and authority and the abuse of position, where one man abuses his place of uh, power and influence and authority to uh, hurt people. That is the misuse of this design of God that we were created for dominion, and it's the abuse of that. But the right use of dominion is what God has restored for us in Christ Jesus. And we know that Adam fell, and when he fell, the dominion that was given to him was passed on to Satan and uh, his demonic powers, his, his evil spirits. And that's why when Satan tempted Jesus, he said, you know, bow down and worship me and I will give you all the earth because it's been given to me, the, the power and the glory in the earth. Now, Jesus didn't co contest Satan's claim. Uh, but eventually what happened is when Jesus died on the cross, he overthrew the ruler of this world. He got back that dominion and this dominion was now placed back in the hands of the born again believer. And so as believers, we must understand that that quality, the right expression of dominion has been put back into our lives. And so you and I should learn how to walk in dominion. When you look at Jesus, he was gentle and he was loving. He played with children, he sat with sinners, he was meek and humble and lowly in heart. And yet, when he faced demonic, demonic powers, when he faced the winds and the storms uh, uh, and the waves of the sea, we see the expression of dominion. When he came face to face with demons, disease and death, we see the expression of dominion. That is a right balance. And that is the kind of dominion you and I should learn to walk in. Let's pray. Father, this week as we explore this whole truth of dominion that you have given to us and placed within us, help us to understand it correctly and help us, Lord, to walk in dominion so that we can represent you and resemble you correctly on earth. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.